Let's paint some Christmas ornaments to decorate for Christmas. So I'm gonna go back and forth with my mop brush and some dark golden yellow and white. I'm going to cover the entire piece of paper this time. One single color. There we go. And then I'm going to dry it really good. Now this is going to have a frame. So I'm gonna take a clean mop brush then and some dark brown paint and do kind of a wavy line on each of the sides of my paper. So I'm gonna do that to the top to the side. Now if you are using taped paper, make sure you're going past the tape edge so it comes off clean. And make sure you're kind of trying to do it, I'm doing about an inch or so on each side, wavy lines. And then to make it even more festive, I'm going to take one of my smaller pouncers and I'm going to add some polka dots around that frame. We're just gonna make this one super fun and festive. There we go, all over, great. All right, so I'm going to make a tree branch with my medium round brush coming out from the right hand corner at the top, kind of angles down across, and then I'm going to do some branches. Start pulling on your branch and pull out. Notice those Vs, they don't have to be super fancy, just do them kind of alternating along it. And don't forget your highlight. I take some tan then and highlight along the top of the branch and then on some of those little branches. Those branches are going to be guidelines for some evergreen. I'm going to take my small detail brush and do some just light strokes going on either side with some dark green and then don't forget some highlights. I'm just pressing down and pulling out kind of in a curved um, smiley face angle. One goes one direction, one goes the other way. And notice they're all kind of pointing out towards the left hand side. Left hand side and down depending on the direction of the branch. There we go. And I'm gonna do that to every single one. Don't forget the tip of your branch as well. This is called the push-pull method. You're pressing down and pulling out very lightly. And then I'm going to make some ornaments. I'm going to take different sized bottle caps. I just suggest getting a large cap, a medium cap, and a small cap. Now these are from all different things like uh, laundry detergent caps, uh, some from a cheese jar, um, I think from a, a vitamin jar. I collect them because they make perfect circles. And then when you get the um, number of ornaments you want, I'm going to fill them in with white. I suggest outlining it and then filling it in just with a medium round brush like that. And this is just priming it so you can get ready to add a color. Dry them really good and pick the colors for your ornaments. I'm going to do a dark red one as my big one. So I'm just tracing it and then filling it in. I'm gonna do a dark green one. It is Christmas, so we're sticking with the red and green theme. I'm doing that. See how I'm doing circular strokes. Now you can even add some white to the darker colors and add a highlight like that. Filling it in, almost like the pumpkin. Now to hang the ornaments, we don't want these floating bulbs. So I'm gonna take actually some metallic silver paint this time in a little detail brush. I'm gonna do little triangles, almost looks like Hershey Kisses at the top. And then I'm going to make it hanging from a chain. So just do some dots, dots, dots up to the branch. That's how you hang them. So do your Hershey Kiss triangle and then do some dots. You could do ribbons too. I've seen it done a couple different ways, but I like this way. Now the ones hanging in front of each other, they can be going in front or behind. That's up to you. Oh, there was a bubble. I popped it. Now I'm going to take an eraser on a pencil and do some cherries before I'm going to let those uh, ornaments dry a little bit. I'm just pressing down and pulling up using the eraser like a stamp. This is going to give you some of those little berries you see on evergreen trees. Oh, perfect. I love it. And then you can design your ornaments. You could keep them plain if you want, but I like to add some swirls sometimes like this. I use a detail brush. Um, you can also use your pencil and add polka dots. That's another method. Or you can just be super simple and take your detail brush and add kind of swirly lines. It's entirely up to you. I love to see how my students personalize this one. And then add some little tiny white highlights to your branch um, berries and you have a really fun festive ornament painting. Have fun with this one. I would love to see how each of you personalize your ornaments.